Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today's video, we're going to be testing a product today. We are testing the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. So I was looking into buying some like sheet mask and maybe like helping to hydrate my skin, like a power hydrate like every night. And um, kind of just looking for some new things to try. And I ended up finding this on sale kind of on Amazon. I don't know if this is the high, like the bubble mask, like the carbonated ones that like expand. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I did buy it. And I did want to try it on camera for you guys because this is something that I've never used before, and I've never used any really like any other face products to like clean your face from Elf. And so that is what I'm here for. I took it out of the package. This is what it looks like out of the package. It's really nice. I like how it looks. Elf is like one of the number one cheapest makeup things to buy. Like everything's like $10 or less. And I like that about them. I'm not saying like cheapest and it's like it's cheaply made. I just think that they make it very affordable. And this was in, I actually went to Target today and I saw that it was $14 at Target. Elf is like one of the number one cheapest makeup things to buy like everything's like $10 or less and I like that about them. I'm not saying like cheapest and it's like it's cheaply made. I just think that they make it very affordable and this was in I actually went to Target today and I saw that it was $14 at Target but on Amazon I got it for $11.83. So it has this and I thought that like this whole top part here would come off really just this the little plastic glass that, oh, and you squish down oh god and this little gel comes out like here let me see if I can show you and the gel comes out right on top and the reviews on it are very high it's a four it's a four star on Amazon so let me just read the product description that they give you on Amazon this hydrate this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face. Watch the bubbles fizz and foam to remove excess dirt and cleanse the pores for a glow healthy looking skin. So I'm guessing this is the bubble mask that like was literally going viral on the internet. Um, the one that like really like the carbonated bubble mask that like really gets big. I don't know how to open. Oh. Actions say to push on the little top. So push on the sides of the top like we did. There it goes. And then apply a thin layer over slightly damp skin and bubbles will form and bubbles begin to dissipate five to ten minutes later. Massage uh, with the fingertips and wash in warm water to remove. Pat dry. Follow with the e.l.f. daily moisturizer. I don't have that. I'm just going to use my own moisturizer. So my skin is dampened. Well, this say this way of getting the product out is really weird like not a lot of it is coming out oh my god it's already starting to bubble do you see that i didn't even notice how fast it turned white like my upper lip area obviously i didn't put it on evenly because there's like super big patches everywhere especially right here where i knock some of it off which i need to clean off my water bottle because that's gross like it tingles everywhere i didn't even put any over here Oh Jesus, I'm so bad at this. Oh my God, I wanted to retry it. Oh, uh, should I start over? I can start over. Oh my God. <laughs> I like came out and I was like, oh, I left my towel like on my bed. Like I have the towel right here that I was going to use to wipe my face off. And I had to sprint in here and actually use my robe that's like right next to my door because it was just so it hurts so bad. So I'm gonna try this actually one more time um, with a new clean face and pump out all the product that I probably need so I can get a nice even coat. Okay. Um, my face is damp, definitely. Super damp. There we go. Now it's starting to turn white. And yeah, I did get a little bit on my upper lip but it's not where it was tingling before which is like, you know, like the mustache area right above your lips so i'm just going to do that just in case and that because that's just how i like to put on my face mask anyway i don't even know why i put it on top of my lip fix it because i'm just going to ruin it i miss that spot i miss a spot above my eyebrow obviously i miss my upper lip or else i can't like i i miss this little piece right there but not so bad not so bad 
it is weird because I did accidentally put it a little close to my ear and it's a little bit on my hair so I can hear it in this ear and it's like popping a lot but everywhere else is pretty much good um it is now what time is it so we'll call the time 728 can you see that we'll call the time 728 and I will check in with you guys in about I'll check in with you guys at 7 like 35 so it is 735 I can't take this any longer this mask I think is like a once a week maybe even once every other week or at minimum like once a month that I'd ever want to do this one because I can't really like go around and do much it's not like a regular mask that if I put it on my face like a cream mask that it'll just stay there and I can go and I can work and I can go make food like I can do stuff I'm like scared that if I do make food some of this will fall off into it and I do not want to eat it but and also the fact that any troubled areas on my face right now hurt a lot I don't know if that means it's working or the fact that it's just 